Hi Libra, thank you for joining me for your December reading. Please remember that this is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. It's also timeless and it's not gender specific. Because time and energy is fluid, it means that the roles can be switched. So please do bear that in mind if you're cross watching. But because this is Libra's reading, I will be addressing them. It can easily be in reverse though. So always, always use your own discernment. You take what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't. I cannot censor, choose nor control what's coming out of the cards. I am literally just reading them and it's up to you what you decide to do with it, okay? You do have free will. Tarot is not in charge, you are. And for everything else, please read the descriptions box. Okay, so Libra Collective for December. Let's get into your reading for you. Libra, please. Thank you. Oh, nice. Uh, number one, after the storm, brand new beginning here. Um, yeah, you're starting again, Libra. You're, you're rewriting your own story here. It says, uh, the release of tension, relief and freedom will soon follow, often with a fresh perspective and a promising vision of the future. Um, okay, so... I don't like to use the word constipation, right? But that's what's coming through. Um, it's almost as if you felt constipated. I'm not, I'm not talking like physically constipated. I mean, spiritually, um, finding direction in your life. It's, it's like everything has felt stuck. It's felt awkward. It's been unnecessarily hard and difficult, overly complicated. Um, th there's been a release, if you like, and now things have got a nice flow to them. Um, so I don't know, I, I guess using that constipated uh, description, it kind of works. I mean, you, you've let a lot of shit out. Uh, you've let a lot of shit go as well. Um, you're moving on, moving forward. You're also, um, you're coming into a lot of prosperity as well with that gold. This is the dawn of a new day, uh, but, but it's a lot more profound than just one day. This brand new direction I'm feeling is going to set you up for the rest of your days. Um, you're going to find happiness. You're going to find peace. And there's something about uh, with the white owl that's behind the veil energies. OK, um, so pay close attention to your dreams at this time. I'm trying to remember who else had this card out. I, I cannot think for the life of me who it was. Um, it was either Aries or Taurus, so I don't know if you've got that in your chart or if you're dealing with an Aries or Taurus, you could be. Um, but you're seeing yourself in a very different way now. Very, very different. It's like you're seeing your own potential. Interesting. Okay. After the storm, putting things behind you. Have a nine card spread, for, please, for Libra. Nine card spread, for Libra, please. Okay, right, five of cups, that's scorpion energy. The eight of cups is Pisces. It's for Libra, please. Okay, the, eight, the knight of coins, that's uh, Virgo. Libra, please. Thank you. Ha, huh. the Queen of Wands. Nice. Um, that's Aries energy. The Seven of Coins is Taurus. Nine of Cups is Pisces. It's for Libra, please. Nope. <laughs> the Queen of Cups is Cancerian. It's Libra. Thank you. The Lovers is Gemini. And the King of Cups is Scorpion. Ooh, nice. A lot of cups. And you've got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of your deck. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, yeah, this is a read that is pertaining to emotions. Um, I'm just rearranging these cards a second so that you can see them properly. Okay. Right. Someone loves you. 
someone really, really, really loves you. Oh yes, page of wands under there. Fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, ten of coins under that one. Wow. Um, I'm trying to remember who the ten of coins belongs to. It's Virgo. Your happy ending and two of coins, Capricorn. Okay, making a decision. Right. At this point in time, Libra, your focus is all about trying to keep your head above water, trying to keep everything in order, uh, trying to keep a nice flow to everything, right down from your finances to your day to day life to your connections, um, everything. You're just trying to keep your head above water, right? You're trying to survive at this time. Um, I'm seeing that you're holding the fort really, really well. Okay, really, really nicely. You have been dealing with a lot, a lot, and it, there's remnants of it that is still in your energy with the five of cups and the ace, uh, the eight of cups. I'm trying to jump too far ahead here. Um, I'm getting the impression that that's what you tried to do for a while, and you realised that it just wasn't working. So. You slowed down a bit and you started to look at things more objectively. You have made some kind of a decision, you have, uh, and that in itself has been a huge deal, right? Um, th this is actually a really, really nice energy in this read, Libra, because you've got an individual around you and what can I say, um, they, they want you, like they, they really, really want you. That, I, I cannot put into words how much this individual is wanting you. Um, however, there's always that fly in the ointment, isn't there? There's always an issue. Um, the individual who is wanting you, they're moving too slow, right? And it's getting to the point where you could be, you might be sitting there thinking that you were just paranoid about the vibe that they were giving you. Right. You're sitting there thinking, oh, well, maybe I just read too much into it and maybe they're not actually interested in me at all. It's not true. It isn't true. The reason that they're moving slowly, Libra, is because you kind of intimidate them in a, in a good way. You intimidate them because you're managing to hold everything by yourself. As I said at the start, you're holding the fort really, really well. Um, it's intimidating. It's like your power, your, your drive to get things done. Even when you're not feeling brave, you still get shit done. Um, in fact, there's a couple of individuals around you. You've got one that's full of regret and remorse at you leaving them. And another one who's like, wow, Libra is amazing. Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Five of Cups, Seven of Coins, King of Cups, the Knight of Coins, the Nine of Cups, King of Cups, whichever way you look at this situation, it ends up well for you. Eight of Cups, the Seven of Coins, the Lovers. It ends up well, really, really well. So I'm going to focus here, not on the past, okay, Libra, because you've already dealt with that. And you've dealt with that to the best of your abilities. There's forward movement, forward progression, and incoming prosperity due to the hard work that you've put in. And that seems to be very much a running theme for basically all of the reads that I have done for everybody this month, at least, right? That definitely does seem to be the current trend. So let's focus on this individual who is wanting you who is currently admiring you, who is massively in love with you. It's someone who they might be a little bit younger. They don't have to be. However, their, their sense of humor is on point. They make you smile. They make you laugh. They make you happy, right? And the Ten of Coins, this is the hidden intent of that individual. Their hidden intent, Libra is to pin you down with the Ten of Coins. That's completion. You feel like home to this individual. Uh, you feel 
to them that uh, it, it's like you keep them on the straight and narrow, you know. There, there is something really rebellious about this particular individual, right? Really cheeky. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just really like this, this person's energies for you. I think it's a good match. Um, you, you keep each other balanced out. And that's really, really nice. So we see here that it's central to you read the Seven of Coins. You're really careful about who you let in your little bubble, right? Especially after what you've just come out of. You're being really careful about who it is that you're letting in. And you're not allowing fantasies to take over with the Nine of Cups. Okay. You know exactly what it is that you want in your life and you know exactly what you don't want in your life. I mean, you've just had to spend how long breaking free from the past. Um, and it, it's like your focus now is purely on you, your immediate family, your kids, if you've got any, you know, things like that, the important things, right? Um, You have spent some time on yourself here as well, like physically. I, I don't know if, like you could have recently changed something about yourself. It, it could be something small, like a haircut, um, some new clothes, you know, just something to make yourself feel and look a bit better about yourself. Um, I'm going to have to start clarifying though, because that there's something here that's going a little bit off track. Clarify Queen of Wands, Seven Coins, Nine of Cups, please. Libra. Oh, um, multitasking. Yeah, you're multitasking at the moment. You're taking on quite a lot, but you're not doing it in a way that's like just wasting time. You're, you're actually being really, really productive. <laughs> Two of Cups, Cancerian energy. Yeah, you've put yourself back out there. Um, you, some of you are definitely back out on the dating scene and you've caught someone's eye. Oh, King of Coins in reverse. Okay. Right. Um, you're very, very mindful about what people are telling you at this time. Okay. Um, because see with that King of Coins coming out in reverse, and it was to clarify the Seven of Coins, that can tell me that somebody could well be exaggerating their success. See, you're kind of on the lookout for that. Hmm. There's nine of cups here, please, for Libra. Thank you. That's in reverse as well. Oh, page of swords in reverse. I, uh, okay. You've got an earth sign or an air sign who is currently keeping tabs on you. They, I, I don't like the page of swords in reverse because that can indicate like gossip, maliciousness, jealousy, keeping tabs on you purely just to say disgusting things about you, looking for ammunition to use against you. Um, I be, Just be aware of it, okay? Be aware that it's going on, but do not focus on it, whatever you do. Let that individual, and it is the person that you've recently broken free from, okay? Let them carry on. 
don't let them affect you. Uh, that they're trying to make out at this time that they're far more successful than what they actually are as well. It's it's almost as if they're they're trying to put on a front and they're trying to put on a big show to try and make you jealous. And you're sitting there going, oh, seriously, whatever. Um, there's you're over it, okay? You're absolutely over it. You're over them. You you're done. Um, as far as you're concerned, they are just wasting their time and you, you're not going to allow them to affect your brand new beginning that I can see here. It's like they're trying to and they're trying to impose on, y on you, on your privacy, on your business. Um, oh yeah. I need to break free from that one. That's that's a bit icky. I, I don't like that one. Let's just stay focused on this brand new relationship that I can see that's blooming in your read. Okay. Um, with your Queen of Cups, the Lovers and the King of Cups. So this brand new love situation, it is a true love situation. Right? I'm trying to overly romanticise the read too much. Okay. However, it is showing up in your cards. Queen of Cups, Lovers, King of Cups. First of all, this is a match, that's a pair, right? It can be counterparts as well. It can be. If it's not your counterpart, like your spiritual counterpart, then it's just someone who is really, really good for you. It's a healthy choice. It's someone who has the same... Um, the same high standards as you. It's someone who is on the same page as you. It's someone who is emotionally mature, emotionally available. Um, you know, someone who is actually going to really appreciate this cup. Someone who is going to appreciate you. And they make you laugh as well, which is a bonus. You know, that's an added bonus. The, this connection that is currently blossoming is showing a lot of potential. And it's threatened. Whoever this king of coins in reverse is, they feel threatened. Now that, that could easily be a feminine, okay? Because remember the cards in tarot are not gender specific. It's someone who has got like a grandiose opinion of themselves, right? So you, you'll know exactly who that is that I'm talking about. Um, but this here, I wouldn't worry about the future of this one because this is going in the right direction. This is going places and this is worth investing in, this one here, okay? It's just typical that there's always going to be someone out there that is ready to poo-poo your success and anything good that you've got going on in your own life. There's always going to be one. And clarify the outcome. Yeah, the Hermit Virgo energy. Oh, wow. The Three of Swords, uh, that's Libra energy. And the King of Swords, Aquarian. Yes. The, listen, there's multiple energies in this read. 100% there's multiple energies. You're moving on, Libra, right? Again, I'm, I'm trying to avoid being stuck on this energy. And it's strange because I'm getting the impression that you yourself have been stuck on that energy for such a long time. Some of you might have even been made to feel guilty for wanting to move on with your life as well. Um, but again, it's like they keep coming back in. They're not leaving you be. It's so utterly frustrating and disheartening that whoever this was here that we started off with, they keep trying to come back in. Because they're hurt, they're disappointed. I think they need to just get over it. Y 
you detached your emotions from them a long, long time ago. And yet they still seem to think that they can try and interfere with this new situation that you've got going on here. This is childish. It's really, really childish behavior. Again, just try not to get stuck on it, okay? Um, just be aware. Be aware that it's happening. Be aware that your privacy, it is currently being violated. Not by the brand new. It's not them that's doing it. This is the X. But then for some of you, it's not even an X. For some of you, this could just be an individual who, um, if it's if it's a king of coins, then you might have worked with them, or you might have like gone to college or university with them or something, and they thought that that there was going to be a relationship between you, but you kind of turned them down. It never happened, and now they're just uh, bitter. This this is a bitterness here. You moving on has left them with a bad taste in their mouth, and they they do not know how to break free from that. They're stuck. And more specifically, they're stuck on you. They, you know, I'm going to stop talking about them because it's not worth talking about. It really isn't. But it's showing up in your reads. It says that you're aware that it's happening. Clarify this entire read, please, for Libra. Um, oh yeah, if you've made it this far into the reading, then please do consider giving me a cheeky wee like, a subscribe or a comment, maybe even all three if you're feeling really, really generous. And thank you so, so much to all of those who have already supported my channel. It genuinely means the absolute world to me, so thank you. Right, so Libra, um, made with love. A gift from the heart, sentimental, an offering or a contribution. Try new things, be in there and support. Skater girl, skating along. Balance, outdoor date, letting things slide. Adaptable quickly, seamlessly. Shy, to, uh, nervous or too nervous to ask you out. It takes a minute. The answer is maybe in second guessing. Right. Right at the start of the read, when I said that you were questioning yourself as to whether or not you had imagined the vibes that um, the new individual was giving off to you, and you you were thinking to yourself, oh, may maybe they don't actually feel that way towards me at all. Maybe I just imagined it. It's showing here you did not imagine it. OK, it's just simply that individual. They're feeling quite out of place. All right. Um, it, it's like. You make them nervous. Um, whenever they try to speak to you, they kind of trip up over their own words. And it's actually really quite sweet. OK, they're, they're saying here that that individual is coming in towards you and they, they're either going to make some kind of offer that is well-meaning towards you or this is straight up um, like a gift, like a physical gift. It's under there, friend zoned. Oh, still friends, just friends, someone like someone else, only as a friend, not relationship material. Do so you see how that motherfucker keeps creeping in? You see that? You're dealing with multiple individuals here, Libra. One of them you're genuinely interested in, but you don't know where you stand with them. And then the other one, this is a love triangle. That's what this is. You've got someone who's really funny and cheeky yet shy. And then another one that seems to feel really hurt and entitled. But anyway, um, See, th this read, it, it's really confusing to me because I'm trying so, so hard to stay focused on your brand new here. And yet I keep getting pulled in to this. There's, there's always a drama around that second individual. There's always something that's going on with them. 
It's like they create a dramatic situation and they try and drag you in the middle of it. Now, that could even be a family member for some of you as well. It could be. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be. But for the most part, though, you've definitely put yourself back out on the dating scene. You're currently enjoying yourself. You're enjoying your freedom. And, yeah, you, you're you feeling a lot more hopeful about your future as well. You have a healing message, please, for Libra. Owl. Another owl. Wisdom. Number four. And number fours pertain to uh, a solid structure, foundations, stability, something that is worth building on. You're older and wiser now. You know exactly the type of personality that is worth investing in. Mm. So, as I always say with these cards, you get three messages that come with them. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. So it says, open your eyes and see what is really there. Look for the whole truth as you may only be seeing a part of the whole. Through experience, we can gain wisdom to not make the same mistakes again. Develop your learning and intelligence as education is never wasted. Negotiation is better than attack. The use of owl magic is an ancient practice. The energy is used in cultures as diverse as ancient Greek and Roman to Northern European and First Nations of the Americas. Use owl magic when you seek wisdom in a situation and perhaps you are not seeing the whole truth and you wish to do so. Owl magic is helpful when you cannot make a decision or when you need to take a rational view of an emotionally charged situation. Um, yeah, someone's trying to drag you down into their drama. Um, they're very, very good at it as well. Really good at it. And if there is no drama that's playing out, then you can be rest assured that they will create it, okay? Uh, one of these individuals is a very destructive personality. And you know this. You're completely aware of this. You're completely aware of when someone's trying to bait you into something as well. Um, yeah, that sometimes the best reaction is no reaction at all. That's for Libra, please. Okay, full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast. Let go of that which is falling away. Um, an important relationship is somehow changing. It is time to make a firm decision. Time to focus on yourself for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Libra, you might have to do the really difficult thing here. If you tried to keep the destructive personality as a friend, and I can see that some of you have, you're going to need to make that decision to put your foot down and say, I'm sorry, I, I cannot handle this trauma anymore. It's... Um, it, it's like they keep trying to steal your joy, you know? Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. I am re-evaluating the situation. Your life feels out of balance. It's time to make a new plan. Something new and exciting is around the corner. Trust may be required to move the situation forward. Yeah. I'm not sure what kind of hold the destructive personality has got over you, Libra, but they've got some kind of a hold over you. And that's the only reason why um, they're, they're still around in your energies. But now 
it's, it's strongly advising that you reevaluate as to whether or not you can continue with that kind of destructive personality in your life because you've got something really beautiful here that's blooming, something that is really, really genuine. And I don't think you're going to want that individual to potentially destroy something that is amazing. Where should Libra's focus be, please, at this time? Where should Libra's focus be? Some of you might have an issue with saying the word no as well. Never ever feel guilty for needing to say to somebody no. The future you know, you're already that person. You are deserving. You have arrived, bucket list and achieving your dream. Giving and receiving, everything is energy. Reciprocity, give and receive easily to others and to yourself. Random acts of kindness. Inner peace. Clearing the past or ancient trauma, physical, mental and spiritual practices, loving the inner child and loving all of you. Love and accept your inner darkness for greater self-love, uh, deeply healing in the world mirrors us. Right. Um, why is it that you need to hold on to destructive individuals? Why is it that you're feeling guilty about removing individuals from your life? It's because you're trying to see the good in everyone. And through that, you end up making excuses for shitty behaviours of others. And that's your focus. That's what you need to take a look at. Why is it that you feel the need to see the good in others all of the time? Yes, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful way of thinking, but it can also set you up for failure as well. It can. It's time, Libra, to, to look at people in your life objectively. Don't look at their potential, look at who they are. And equally, do the same to yourself. Don't look at your potential, look at who you are. Because you'll find that you're a lot more successful than what you've given yourself credit for. And then you'll find that you won't feel this need to give, give, give all of who you are all of the time. Because the only one that's paying the price for that is you. You cannot give when it, when it starts to cost you. You can't do it. You cannot do that anymore, Libra. You have to, you have to be a bit selfish here, okay? You have to. A further clarity, please, for Libra. Leo, I will. Okay, it says, honor, strength, and integrity. Expect to be at the center of something and to be recognized. Nice. Your talents are to be singled out and recognized. You're being appreciated. Growth in reputation and career. Yeah. Living in the moment, being playful, luck and light is on your side. Creativity, play, fun, love, children, spotlight, and fame. That is what follows when you stop giving all of yourself to undeserving individuals. And when you start to redirect that energy back into yourself, start giving back to yourself. That's what's going to follow your success, everything that you have ever dreamed and wished for, everything that you have worked towards as well. Because that, that's not just given to you. You're not just given things in life, which, which you know, you know this. 
you're a giver. Now it's time for you to give to yourself and to not feel guilty for these successes coming in because you've earned it. You've earned it and you deserve to enjoy it as well. Have one more please for Libra. Someone is jealous that you are doing better than them. They don't like, oh my God, yeah. Black Moon Lilith mystery. Beauty can exist in the darkness as long as you keep your own demons in check. Shadow work. And we've already gone over the shadow work with these white cards here. Uh, the shadow self or a refusal to submit. Yeah, don't submit. Do not give in. Uh, do not give in even though the path is difficult. This can be an angry mother, an enemy, an embittered woman or a stalker. Yeah, you've definitely got a stalker in your energies. Um, seduction, the other man or the other women, an affair, shame, envy, guilt, rejection, revenge, feeling rejected, feeling slighted, the balance in a karma and erotic obsessions. Yeah, your stalker is obsessed with you. They're, they're obsessed with who you're talking to, what you're getting up to and all the rest of it. Again, they're, they're still there in the shadows. They, they keep interfering in anything brand new that you're trying to be successful with. And fourth house roots. Fourth house is the house of uh, cancer. Your question may be somehow rooted in your past. Putting down roots, buying or selling a home, uh, divine guidance, reunions or reconnections, or you adding to a home. This is who you are in secret, not wanting to face something, uh, domestic issues, parents and ancestry, the end of a matter and bruised feelings. Yeah. Repeating messages again, basically, you've got a stalker who feels uh, rejected by you, they feel entitled to you. Um, I, d I don't want to talk about them too much because it's so overpowering. You know, you tr you're genuinely trying to move on. Okay, chakra balance. Embrace the balance between earth and spirit and it suggests in clear quartz, rose quartz or hematite might be beneficial for you at this time. So again, you're, you're aware of who the interfering individual is, right? You're, you're every bit as sick and tired of them as I am of seeing them in your reads, right? Um, they can be quite dangerous as well when they don't get their own way. Um, definitely with this situation, the best thing that you could do here is to withdraw from them. Protect yourself as best you can. Protect your energies as well. Um, don't feed the trolls. That's the main message here. Do not feed the trolls. Focus on yourself. Focus on your home, your family, your future. Focus on what you're doing, right? Uh, it's a difficult one. Really, really difficult. It's like they go for some time with nothing and then all of a sudden they pop up again. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, um, then I do have to give a warning about the Rebel deck. It's very abrupt, can be quite offensive and it gets a bit sweary. So if that's not your sort of thing, then it's probably best that you sign out now. Right. So you've got lightning, figure shit out on your own. You, her, you're giving away your power. Yeah, you're a badass, act like it. Mm -hmm. Take your power back, Libra. It's for Libra, please. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. 
fuck, shit's about to get real. You need your people around you. Okay. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of a warning here for those of you who are dealing with a dangerous individual. Make sure that you're keeping a record of everything. Okay. Make sure you're keeping backups of everything and then remove yourself from that dodgy situation. Okay. Make sure you've put some kind of protections in place. Um, because that individual, they're not going to take kindly to you being determined on moving ahead with your life. All right. They're, they're just not going to be happy with it at all. So th there is a spiteful vibe here. I'd, I'd just be really, really cautious. Again, don't give this individual anything that they can use against you. Okay. And try, try if you can to enjoy your brand new relationship that's blossoming as well. Difficult read, really, really difficult. Um, if that resonates for you, honestly, my heart absolutely goes out to you. It really, really does. Um, so yeah, that is what I have for you, Libra. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. The link will take you straight to my website where you can make your booking. It's really quick and simple to place your booking as well. It's all laid out as if they were physical items. Okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.